Gene ontology terms, commonly known as GO terms, are part of a project aimed at unifying biological terminology across disciplines. Scaffold provides the option to integrate GO term annotations as a part of protein descriptions. With this feature, you can visualize your dataset's biological properties, search and filter your dataset by GO term, and more. To begin setting up your experiment for GO terms, you will need to specify a GOA database. I've already set up my dataset for loading into Scaffold. The Loading Data Wizard provides an option for specifying the GOA database in the last step of the process. In this last box here, click Configure Go Source to bring up a separate Go Term configuration window. The default Go Annotation Databases tab is where you can specify which GOA databases to use when loading your Go Terms. I already have the Human Proteomes database loaded into the wizard, but if you want to load a new database, you can click the New Database button here. This will call a pop-up window where you can specify the GOA database source. Because I already have a database, I'm going to cancel. This will bring you back to the GoTerm configuration window. The other available tab is the Displayed GoTerms tab, where you can specify exactly which GoTerms you wish to view. In this tab, we have compiled a list of over 27,000 GoTerms. Here, you can set a group of the most useful terms as a user to find a default list for easy prioritization. Scaffold provides a default list of some of the most commonly used Go terms. This default will load automatically when you activate Go term annotation for the first time. Click Select to define the list of Go terms you want to describe your dataset. Click Load Data to load your data with Go terms.